This little slider card is so much fun to make. You simply pull the ribbon and underneath you've got another hidden message that your recipient can see. Might look hard, but they're really very simple to make. Let me show you how. First you want to cut a piece of cardstock to five and a half by eight and a half inches. Same size that you would use to make a card. And we're going to score it at four inches and again at eight inches. Once we've got our score lines in place, we want to go ahead and cut some lines into this cardstock so that we'll pull out our hidden message from behind it. Keeping our cardstock in the paper trimmer in the same direction as it was when we scored, we're going to line up our paper at seven and a quarter inch, and we're going to cut from five eighths of an inch up to four and three quarters of an inch. Then we're going to move our paper over to four and three quarters and make a second cut that's exactly the same. So from four and three quarters of an inch down to five eighths of an inch at the bottom. Now we've created our lines that the slider card is going to follow. Next we need a piece of cardstock cut to four and three quarters of an inch by three and seven eighths of an inch. This cardstock is the piece that's actually going to pull out from inside the slider card. For this piece of cardstock, we want to line it up in our paper cutter at two inches and cut from the very bottom of the piece all the way up to three and five eighths of an inch. So you're cutting almost all the way through, but not totally. The next piece of cardstock you'll need is two and three eighths inches by four inches. This is going to be for the front where we've stamped our images. You want to stamp one side and because you'd never want to go over the middle mark, it may be helpful to have a guide that's two inches wide that you can place down to help you stamp. Once you've done that, you can just follow your guide and do your image on the other side. Once you stamp both images, we're going to take and finish our card and embellish the front. The next step in our slider card is to cut half a circle, and that's going to be where we'll attach the ribbon to pull it out, and to add some sticky strip along the bottom. It's time now to add the stamped images. So just take your piece of cardstock, and again, we're centering between our two cut lines and making sure that it's good to go on this piece of cardstock. Next, we want to insert this piece of paper that's going to actually hide part of our slider. So you'll just put it in through the cut lines and just give it a try. So make sure that it's centered in the circle, that it's covering your images, and then it moves freely. Once you've done all that, just turn it over. To make sure that this piece of cardstock doesn't move over time and that it stays centered, take a piece of transparent tape no bigger than the gap you have here and stick it down to keep that piece in. Next we can go ahead, remove the sticky strip and close up our card. Using a sticky strip is a great idea here because it's going to keep everything in place. And you'll see that we're able to slide out and back. The final steps in the slider card is to add the greeting Put a hole for your ribbon and tie it off and add whatever embellished element you want on the top. So it is just that easy. If you have any questions, please let me know.